common to making this party today. We're pretty excited that you guys are here, as you can imagine. I'll do our best to try and get you a good answer, but we'd love to have you come back around anytime on your own. missed out. Sorry about it. And uh, we're going to have a good time. And uh, you're not. You're not here. So it sucks to be you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Let's meet the Black Knights head coach in the 14th season, number 16, Joe Sadalano. <laughs> Leading off for the Black Knights, the center fielder, number 13, John Crusetti. <laughs> Batting second, the left fielder, number three, Daniel Cortez. Batting third, the shortstop, number seven, Alex Jensen. Batting cleanup, the first baseman, number 30, Patrick Mesher. Batting fifth, the third baseman, number two, Harold Earls. Batting sixth, the designated hitter, number five, Mark McCants. Having seven, the right fielder, number 28, Michael Sands. Having eight, the catcher, number 35, Andrew Johnson. And batting ninth, the second baseman, number 11, Grant Van Orden. The starting pitcher for the Black Knights, number 15, Chris Rowley. Who's 
broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there who saved First pitch ceremony here at Johnson Stadium at Doubleday Field. Mariano Rivera. He's got a big smile on his face, and he will deliver a pitch a little bit high. <laughs> but uh, that means a lot to him as he will begin his final season in pinstripes on Monday afternoon at Yankee Stadium. About 10 in the morning, the first thing he said, well, where's the batter's eye? Swing and a miss on a wave by Gardner, and there's one away. DH and Hafner was removed from the lineup. High fly ball, deep right center, Crusetti back. He's on the track, he's at the wall. He leaps. No. See ya! A two-run home run for Brennan Bosch, as Crusetti could not bring it in, and the Yankees lead 2-0. But not Pettit. Yeah. I don't think Pettit will be out there. Pettit pitched yesterday against the Nationals. The one two. Chopped to short. There's one. Not in time, run scores. And it is four, nothing. Yanks. Right in on the hands. It's looped in the center field. It is going to dunk in for a base hit. One run scores. Ichiro moves to third. It's an RBI single for Cano. And it's a five nothing Yankee lead. Very talented group of individuals, those men and women. That is looped in the right field, the base hit in front of Ichiro. That one is wrapped in the left field, it is a base hit. Wells gets the ball in, throws behind the runner at second, and Army has runners on first and second, and that they ran a chain across the Hudson. That one's lined in the right center field, a base hit. And that will score a run for Army. Throw goes into second. So Crescetti with an RBI single, and the Cadets have something to cheer about as they are on the board. And it's 5 1 Yankees. The 1 2. Chop to Cano. Let's see if they can get two. There's one. And that's all they'll get as another run scores. It's a base hit. Vernon Wells charges. He's going to throw home. The throw is not in time. Third run scores. It's an RBI for Mesher. And the Yankee lead is now 5-3. to three. Runners go. Pitch swung and a miss. The throw to third. A little bit high. Nice save by Euclid. A double steal for Army. She doesn't have a military background, but she attended Duke on a gymnastic scholarship. So that's your Mark McCants bio. And he lost that one to left field. Backing up is Wells. He'll make the catch. Tagging is Jensen. He will score. And Army has scored four here in the bottom of the third to cut the Yankee lead to one. Making a game of it here. You can have Houston to slap around. Yep. As Neil swings and misses. So there's no, there's no team in the East. Everyone that was part of it, it will stay with them forever. Swing and a miss. Good job by Tease. Every day on this campus at 5 o'clock sharp, they lower the flag. Ladies and gentlemen, and please they yell retreat. retreat. And that and is the what the public is address lowered. announcer is explaining, and let's listen. What an unbelievable wow. tradition. So the flag comes out at 5 o'clock. No matter what you're doing on campus, they yell retreat. Everybody stops, faces the flags. 
takes a, takes off their hat to pay tribute wow. to the American flag that comes down at five o'clock, and it's called retreat. That one is drilled down the right field line. It is going to be a base hit. That will score a run. It's an RBI single for Dan Johnson. Yankees lead 8-4. That one is hammered down the right field line. That ball is a fair ball. And they'll play it up against the wall. And that was Ryan Levenhagen, who is hitting. Base hit, left field. Levenhagen will hold up at third. And Army has runners on first and third with one out. That one gets away, and a run will score as Army closes it to 8 5. So a wild pitch. And another runner in scoring position. The 1 2. Ooh, a twitch by the home plate umpire. He pulls the string for strike three. Strike three. So Burris comes on and does a good job. Rounded back to the mound. There's one. Back to first. It's a double play. And the ball game is over, and the Yankees win 10-5. to So that will do it here at West Point. And Army now will go to home plate and they will greet the remaining Yankees and they will shake hands. And this is a nice ending to what was a really nice day. You know what, Michael, it is. And I, I, I've got to believe that it's not going to be that long for this to uh, happen again. This was a wonderful day for everybody involved. I want to thank everyone, especially New York Yankees and all the people here for coming, especially on the Easter weekend. Uh, the opportunity and the experiences obviously are second to none. Uh, being here at West Point on a special moment is a gift uh, to myself, for myself and my family, and also these gentlemen to the right or left of me and at West Point. Something we'll never forget. The class of the New York Yankees that they've exhibited throughout the weekend, or I should say since they've been here in their program as far as coming up early and setting up and everything, was incredible to watch and to be a part of. It's, uh, it's not a surprise to see the continued success of that organization. I say it all the time. Teams are great year to year. You might have a year that you're, you're great, but programs sustain. Uh, that is an organization. That's a program to an organization. That's a very special organization. And uh, they have our full support and, actual, and obvious love, and we're grateful for what they've done for us this weekend. I, I thought it was a wonderful experience. Um, from going around the university and looking at the different buildings and the meanings of different areas and monuments and to my time um, having a chance to eat with the cadets in the, in the mess hall and, and then the game and spending two and a half innings over there talking to, to players uh, was a real thrill for me. When they put up that five runs on us, we kind of brought it up in the dugout and said, guys, you know, it's all, well, you know, it's fun that they're here and that we're playing, but, you know, we're still a good ball team and, you know, we don't want to embarrass, you know, ourselves. We want to go out there and put up a game. And when we put up those four runs and we got a couple shutdown innings from our pitchers and we had them 5-4 and like into the seventh inning, I think we looked at each other and like, let's get this. Like, let, this is the one chance you have. Let's do something about it. And so I think definitely, it was definitely a game for us. It wasn't just, you know, just going out there and having fun. I think we definitely wanted to push it. <laughs> it was definitely, you know, at first you see the pinstripes and there's so much lore behind that and so much history with that. Um, and from the from the perspective that I had, it, it was it took it took a second, and I don't I can't remember exactly if it was two pitches, three pitches, or an inning, but you know you, it takes a second. You you sit there and you look at it and you go, this this is the Yankees. This is this is the you know this is the program that's won 27 World Championships. Um, and then once it once we got to that point where it was like okay, this is the baseball game. You know it's still a white ball. You got to throw it across the plate and you got to hit it. Um, you saw us, you know, battle a little bit, and we, we, I think we played pretty well. This was a special day, and this is a great way to finish spring training. And, uh, you know, just it, it gives you a sense of pride uh, about being an American when you come up here and uh, how respectful they are to our country and how much they appreciate our country. I mean, you watch 
you know, the game stops five o'clock, you know, for the flag, the lowering of the flag. And that's, you know, that to, to me puts it in perspective how great of a place that we live in and what they do for us.